Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we stand at a taiko drum. So, first of all, um, the first thing to note is that we stand uh, quite far away from the instrument. So I'm standing right behind a drum to begin with and I'm taking a step backwards. Um, so I'm at least a battery length away from my drum at the moment. You'll see why in a second. Once we've got the distance, it's time to get the width of the stance. So feet need to be wider than shoulder width um, and even wider than that if you can, but keep it comfortable, uh, it's not a competition. Um, left foot comes half a step forwards or towards the drum, right foot comes half a step backwards or away from the drum. So you can see now that I've got quite a wide stance and I'm on a diagonal um, as compared to my drum. So the next thing I need to do is to move my hips, not my feet, just my hips, so that they're square onto the drum. Um, and with a little bend in the left knee, that brings me down a little bit lower, uh, and that's approximately where we're looking for the legs to be. Once we've got the legs in place, um, we can bring the arms out in front. And as you can see, my arms are quite extended. My elbows are in front of my body. And this is why we need this distance between the player and the player's drum. So that uh, you, you can reach your arms out and still have your battery, your drumsticks, over the centre of the drum. Um, if I hadn't taken that step back, when I extend my arms, my battery would be over the edge here. Which is no good. So, nice distance. Battery hovering just about an inch above the skin of the drum in the centre. Uh, and in a V shape, a shape like this. Uh, finally, just check that your shoulders are nice and relaxed um, and that your spine is straight. So you're almost sitting on top of your hips. Um, what we don't want to see is people bending over to play the taiko like this, because uh, it will give you, a, it'll end up in a little bit of lower back pain. So straight back, shoulders down, and there's our primary stance. We call this a ready position because we're ready to play. We do use another stance from time to time in Taiko called the listening position. Um, uh, and this is simply standing back from the drum, legs together, battery in the right hand by the right leg, standing up straight. This is a useful position because it takes the player away from the drum so when you're explaining an activity they're not tempted to play over the top of you. Uh, but it's also a really useful position to uh, practice because it's a great one to start a piece from, or to finish a piece with. So there are two main stances that we tend to use.